All right, guys. So the bumper's going on. This idea that drinking urine, <laughs> like, is healthy. Uh, we we got to put it into it. I'm sorry. I'm not excited about this at all, but the bumper's going on. We'll see. I hope I don't puke on air. All right, guys, we are back on the Dr. Dolly Show. Thank you all for tuning in. one 877 doc one 877 docdali So, um, listen, I like to cut through the bull crap. And so when I hear that people are touting certain health benefits with certain things, like drinking urine, I'm like, I feel like it's my mission to kind of set the record straight. Um, this is what people are drinking. This is urine. It's not apple juice. I'm telling you right now. In fact, I'll prove to you guys that it's not apple juice, but this is urine. And I figured what I would do is drink it on air to show you guys how stupid it is, right? And, and listen, I understand urotherapy is a science out there. I get that. I get that. In fact, um, I've talked about this on air a lot. Um, I could tell when you pee in the shower because your feet are like super smooth. You know, there's something about urea and the compound in urine that seems to be beneficial for skin, but that doesn't mean you drink it. Now, um, uh, these are some urine test strips. I'm going to first test the urine. So I'm going to kind of, oh, I do not want to spill this. This is kind of hard to do while videotaping. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to test the urine. So we'll see kind of what's in it. I don't know if you guys, you know, ever like look at what's in it. Okay. And I don't really want this dripping all over the place, but I just dipped the urine, okay? I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Basically, what these urinalysis test strips do is they test for uh, blood, they test for leukocytes, which is inflammatory cells, nitrites, which are a uh, breakdown from bacteria that could be there. I really hope I don't have that. Um, glucose, sugar, protein in the urine. I'm looking right now, I got, I got some blood in the urine, I'll show you. Oh, that's not good. This isn't even done cooking. You see the green on top? That means I may have blood in the urine. Oh, all right. Well, at least I'm not in menopause yet, right? Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. That's cooking. Um, Yeah, it's cooking. So while that's cooking, um, yes, yeah, the apple juice wouldn't really do this, okay? All right. Uh, and and I, I, keeping it real. Um, he, Here's the thing also. I, you know, I think it's disgusting to, to drink your urine and, and to taste it. But um, you know how when we used to grow up, our parents would say that, you know, they had to walk uphill in the snow both ways or, you know, and I'll tell my medical students, look, I had to do 36 hour shifts. So I don't want to hear you guys complaining that you have to work 24 hours. And so, um, you know, the one thing I always heard growing up as a as a young physician or a medical student is my doctor forefathers and foremothers used to have to taste the urine, like actually drink the urine to see if you had diabetes. That's how we would tell if, if you were diabetic because they would taste it, drink it. So, I mean, it's not going to kill you. And at least now I could technically say, yeah, I, you know, took one for the team. I'm getting like some texts in. I'll say hi to you guys in a second, though. This is important. Okay, so looking at my urinalysis test strip, I definitely got some blood in there. Maybe some protein. Uh, no leukocytes, thank heavens. Um, and with blood, protein may come. Um, and I think everything else looks pretty, pretty good on there. All right, so it's definitely urine sample. Um, it's yellow. Why is it yellow? Why is urine yellow? Well, because there's a byproduct of heme. So when your blood, you know, uh, when your blood, oh my God, I don't want to drink this. I really don't want to drink this. I'm stalling, people. I'm sorry, I'm stalling. But I'm teaching you something. Uh, when blood goes through the kidneys, because the kidneys have to filter, all right, you could get some breakdown of heme. Also, certain vitamins, your vitamins will kind of be broken down like riboflavin. That'll make it kind of uh, um, uh, neon. But, you know, realize what I'm holding right now is what my body doesn't want in its body. Okay? I mean, this is not supposed to go back in. This is my peepee. -pee. The reason why I peepee -pee is because my body doesn't want this. It doesn't want the extra nutrients or what, what's in here. Well, it's 95% water. It's got minerals and vitamins and, you know, I take some hormones, right? You know, because I'm perimenopausal. Oh my God, I can't believe I say that. I'm perimenopausal. I old. Uh, so it's got hormones there. So who knows? Maybe I, you know, I'll increase a cup size after drinking this. Um, and then um, it's got cell, uh, skin cells. People always ask, is it sterile? Is urine sterile? Technically, 
in the beginning of your urine composition, it's pretty sterile. But then remember, it's got to go through a urethra. And a male's urethra, you know, that's that, there's a lot of like uh, bacteria stuff that could kind of go in. And then a female urethra, even though it's shorter, you know, so it, it's not 100% sterile. So let me just get this over with. I got to get this over with. Okay, so I'm going to, th this is not a good idea. Okay, drinking your urine is disgusting and it is, it's not healthy. And I'm going to show you how stupid you look. I just got, I hope I don't, I don't throw up. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It's disgusting. Oh my God. It's disgusting. Hold on. I got to. Oh my God. No, don't ever do that. Okay. That was wrong. That was bad. Now my husband won't kiss me. It is my birthday weekend. Oh gosh. Oh my God. Okay. What it tastes like. It tasted chemically. There's an aftertaste. There's okay. Did you guys see that movie with Jim Carrey? Tic Tac. I need a Tic Tac. Okay. That was disgusting. I got Diet Coke here. Hold on a second. I got to chase this down. That was disgusting as heck. Mm. Okay, that was disgusting. By the way, not as disgusting as amniotic fluid. I had a woman who was delivering a baby, and Dr. Wicker, my uh, attending, came up asking me to give report. Ugh. And uh, while I was talking, the uh, uh, bag broke because she was like in like rapid labor, and we didn't have time to break down the bed. So the amniotic fluid got into my mouth. It tasted kind of like the Pacific Ocean. This tasted. I tasted salt. I tasted chemicals. And, oh, my God, it, 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 there's an aftertaste. Please, oh, my God, Ugh. please don't drink your urine. It's really bad. It's really, really stupid. It's disgusting. Okay, so now, am I, like, glowing? Am I, like, healthier? Did I get all these health benefits from it? Uh, No, I don't think any. No, 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 no new cup size, nothing. So I'm going to uh, cut this uh, Facebook Live off now because I think I have to vomit. Please don't drink your urine. In terms of skin and dermatological benefits, urea may have some benefits, but uh, it's just don't drink it. Lord have mercy, don't drink it.